The biggest myth in the manifesting space is that you can't feel negative feelings. You know, I hear so many gurus say, don't allow your attention to rest on something negative. Don't allow yourself to dwell or sit in negative feelings. And I get the line of thinking. I get the theology of it, right? The theory of what's being said here. But in reality, so many of us have trauma stored up, not in our minds, in our bodies. See, this is where it doesn't matter if you say, I am rich 55 times a day, because if your nervous system disagrees with your brain, your nervous system will be the source of manifestation in your life. See, it's because we have this servant mindset where if I think bad things, I'm going to be punished. And if I think good things, I'm going to be rewarded. But the universe doesn't work that way. In fact, Neville Goddard says that the universe moves with motiveless necessity. It really doesn't care as much about your negative thoughts as much as you do. See, the key is not getting to a place where you're only thinking good thoughts and not thinking bad thoughts. The key is getting to a place where if negative energy comes up in your body, you're not controlled by it. You're not dominioned by it, right? You have the ability to recognize a story, a limiting belief as it shows up in your body and rescind the energy of it, right? Because this is what manifestation work. Manifestation is not mental work. It's body work. See, because while your mind is trying to imagine the wish fulfilled and imagine that you already are what you want to be, your body is screaming, feel this energy that you've been suppressing and trying to run from from so long. And when you feel this energy without being attached to it, you create space to not only feel the good energy, to feel as though you are what you want to be, but you make space for that to live in your nervous system. And just like Napoleon Hill's mentor, Charles Hanel says, you can only do to the extent that you can be, and you can only be to the extent that you are. So if you're suppressing negative energy and it's living inside of your nervous system, you have to be able to sit with that, recognize that you are not it, and it is not you fundamentally. You can make space for that energy to go away without acting like a dog that is hidden or caged inside of a fence. Right, Because as long as your energy in your body feels like a dog caged inside of something very constricting, it doesn't matter how many affirmations you do. It doesn't matter how many times you write, I am rich. Until you sit with the negative energy in your body as a friend sits with another listening, knowing that it is not that energy, you will not be able to make space for the new energy that you want to bring into your life.